What's up everybody? How y'all doing today? This you got Bill Ball the phone full back with another video. First of all, I want to thank God for giving us our tune. Next, I want to thank y'all for the support y'all showing for the channel. On today's video is Saturday, January 20, 2024. Uh, this will be the first video of the year that we're making. And I'm in my little reloading room slash hunting room, whatever office, whatever you want to call it. But we finna get ready to handle some business on today. Right here, uh, I stand it up. I got a Remington 700, 300, 300 mag. And I got my old one here that uh, that I don't have a while. I've been shooting shooting for a while. So I got in the long range shooting a little while ago, a few years back. So I don't ran probably maybe 12 to 1500 rounds through his gun. Not sure, didn't do no check. But I did a lot of shooting just to learn about you no know, precision shooting, get behind a gun. So Back in 2021, I, uh, I had some issues with this gun. Actually, it was 22, uh, last part of the season, of the 21-22 season in January. And uh, I shot this gun, and the next time I went hunting, I shot at some deer about four times, and missed them. I came back and checked the gun, and it, it, just, it just started shooting all over the place. So I had cleaned the barrel and all that stuff, so I double checked behind myself. So I think the barrel shot out on this, my old rifle. So I was able to find another 300 wind mag, just like the one that I had from the beginning. And uh, so I was able to get an old Remington 700 standard uh, trigger in it, but the trigger been polished and everything real smooth. So this trigger in my old gun, it said a pound and a quarter. I'm gonna take this old, original factory trigger out this new gun, take my, trigger out my old gun and put it in this one. That's gonna be the first part of this thing, the video we're gonna do. Then tomorrow, uh, we'll come back in here. I'm gonna mount the scope and everything on this gun. So from start to finish, I went ahead and bought me some board sliders, some tools to work on the scope to torque my specs and all that stuff. So it'll be the first time that I ever really done this uh, whole process of mounting the scope. Uh, on my own gun. Normally when I buy a gun, I go to the gun shop and let them set it up. But after watching some reviews and doing a little bit of stuff, I'm just trying to be more efficient to make myself better to do this stuff. I got a young man coming up behind me. Get the family involved, the wife and kids and everybody. Uh, might set some guns up for the future. But this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna video it all. I hope y'all enjoy this. So let's get it rolling. I'm gonna set these cameras on my time lapse. And I stop in between and let you know where it is. But the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put this gun, lay this gun down in this vise, and uh, take this action out of here so we can get the trigger out of here. So we'll see y'all in the next step. All right, everybody, we back. We got both triggers out of uh, both guns. And so uh, we figured ready to put, install this original factory trigger from the new gun into the old rifle. So that's where we at on this stage. So I'm gonna put the count back on time left and install this trigger and put this gun back together 100%. And then when we get done with that, we'll swap over and get the new gun and put it back together and I'll explain to you and show you some of the work that I done to the new gun before we put it all back together. So y'all stay tuned, y'all enjoy this, and we'll be right back shortly. All right, everybody, we're back with the next scene. We just got done installing this trigger back in this old gun. So we're gonna finish this job up. We're gonna go ahead and put everything back on this gun. And so we can set it to the side so we won't get any parts confused. So let's get this knocked out and we'll pick it back up on the next scene. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna pick this video back up real quick to show you something. This is a torque wrench. 
And on these particular Remington stock, you want to torque these stock screws on it because it's aluminum bed at 65 inches of torque on these. So I just got my wrench and everything set up. And I'm gonna go ahead and torque this back down to 65 pounds first. Click there. And that's it. Once you hear that click, you know, everything's torqued to the factory spec. So I looked up online before I got started. So just wanted to share that with y'all. So we're gonna move on to the next phase, but we got this gun all put back together. Uh, she ready to roll, so I'm gonna set this to the side and I'll uh, stop this camera, get this other gun, set it back up in the vise. We'll put the trigger back in it and we'll keep rolling. All right, everybody, we're back with the next step. We're gonna put this stock back on this gun and also the trigger. But I don't wanna show you something before we do that. In this particular rifle, when I first got it, uh, Last January, when I started putting this gun back together, I went ahead and put some epoxy and locked this barrel a little down to when I set it in the stock, did some research on it. They say it's supposed to help improve the accuracy. I don't know. My old gun, I didn't have it done, and that gun shot extremely well for over-the-counter gun. Uh, so we're going to see what happened with this one, and we're going to see could we make this one shoot just a little bit better than my old one. But it's going to have to be... Uh, some pretty good groups out of that gun. I didn't know because my old gun shot extremely well. So I don't know, but you know, I'm just doing some research online, trying to get better at what I do. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to put this trigger back in the gun, put it on time left real quick, and we're going to keep rolling. All right, everybody, we got the trigger back in this gun. So now we'll go ahead and put the stock and close it out. So we're gonna keep on rolling. I'll show you something real quick. Well, when I epoxy that lug down that barrel, there's no movement in between here. No, there's no screws in this gun. But just by putting that epoxy on that lug, it pretty much locked that barrel and axe and all that stuff down in the stock. And with, especially with this being a aluminum bedded uh, stock, I think it's gonna work out real good. So y'all stay tuned, we're gonna keep on rolling. Now we got that done, we'll get this torque wrench, torque it down to 65 pounds, 65 inches of torque. Just like that, everybody. We got this bad boy back together. So we're gonna shut this video down, get ready to shut it down for the night. But we'll come back uh, tomorrow. And the next step we'll do, we're gonna lap these rings and get everything level. And we're gonna mount this coat. That's gonna be the next video. So y'all stay tuned. Hope y'all enjoyed this video footage, man. We'll have a lot of fun with this. So we'll see y'all on the next video.